It has been a, one interesting week. It, watching Donald Trump go even crazier than anybody <laughs> even imagined he would. He's, he's running this country like it is a reality show. He's, but instead of Meatloaf and Dennis Rodman, he's got Matt Gates and Tulsi Gabbard. You know, if we wanted the host of a reality show to run the country, there were much better choices. I mean, Jeff Probst, the host of Survivor, he's <laughs> smart, he's fair, he wears the kind of safari clothes he used to see in the old movies. He knows how to settle disputes between warring tribes. Jeff Probst would have been a great president. Or what about the host of The Amazing Race? That guy, whose name I don't ever remember, but somehow he's managed to win 10 Emmy Awards, even though we don't have any idea what his name is. He's been everywhere. He could strengthen our ties all around the world. Or another multiple Emmy winner, RuPaul. RuPaul would have been would throw the most fabulous inauguration party in American history. <laughs> or maybe we need to come out guns a blazing with Tim Gunn. Americans <laughs> love guns. President Gunn, you know, his catchphrase is make it work. It could be just the message we need. <laughs> or we go with the old reliable Ryan Seacrest. I, you know, <laughs> president's the only job he hasn't had yet. He's, Ryan could do this. He never stops working. He's proven he can stand up to dictator Simon Cowell. And who knows more about free and fair elections than the man who saved us from Sanjaya? I know anyone would be better. The, the hosts of Dancing with the Stars, Alfonso Ribeiro and Julianne Hough. Let me ask you something. You think old Vlad Putin wouldn't bend over? He got a call from Julianne Hough? Of course he would. And we could have a President Carlton from the Fresh Prince. It would... Or maybe we go with a president who believes that children are our future. So much so, he fathered 25 of them. <laughs> president Nick Cannon. Look out, North Korea. President Cannon is on the loose. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is we screwed up. Donald Trump is a, it's like the worst people's choice awards every day now. Yesterday, we learned that Trump plans to nominate Matt Gates and Tulsi Gabbard, not to mention Pete Hegseth of Fox and Friends. Today, you remember a few days before the election, CNN asked Trump's transition co-chair, this guy Howard Lutnick, if Robert Kennedy Jr. would get the job running Health and Human Services? You don't, well, you don't have to remember because we have the clip. You're saying he would not be in charge of that. HHS? No, of course not. Okay, so he's not going to be he's like not acting... be the secretary, no. Well, he couldn't That's get confirmed, he wants so would he do. be in an acting position That's or anything like that? I just told you what he wants. He wants to help get data. You're saying he wants so he access to data, things. but that he would just be... wants data. Yeah, well, guess who Trump nominated today to be Secretary <laughs> of Health and Human Services? That's right, Robert F. Kennedy Jr., heavy on the F. Um, <laughs> I remember a time when even one of these scandals would have decimated any sort of political career. Now it's just a Thursday. It's disturbing. Certain things shouldn't be normalized. America going off the edge. But then again, every empire must fall eventually. The quicker people understand social media is changing society for the worse at a quicker rate, the better. Late Night Show will have a lot of materials for the next four years. When you're born into this world, you're given a ticket to the freak show. If you're born in America, you get a front row seat. George Washington, the first president of the United States, is a well-known historical figure. And it is likely that Stallone would have learned about him in school. Lost him far too soon, not sure what you mean by too late. His material today would be endless if he were here to see the ignorance in America. Drain the swamp? He is filling it with alligators, and MAGA is cheering as they swim in the water. I don't think they will admit their mistakes until they are losing their jobs or houses. He projects a lot. You can practically tell what the future of his life and his actions will be based on the lies or things he says against others. It's funny and interesting to watch. I would so love to see a cabinet meeting between Trump and his minions falling all over themselves in uncontrollable laughter and saying, they bought it. It's not about winning or losing, but about the future. That's the problem these days. It's like living in an episode of the Jerry Springer show. It's only been a week and things are crazier than I thought. Thank you, Jimmy, and the many other people out there helping to light our darkness through these crazy times. The quicker people understand social media is changing society for the worse at a quicker rate, the better. I prefer my attorney general not to be sexual predator, not to be in the attorney general's office, especially when he's being investigated by the House Ethics Committee for having sexual relations with a 17-year-old girl. I guess sexual predator run together. Will the Kremlin be forced to close its western branch in Mar-a-Lardo? Or will it simply move further north to Washington, D.C.? 
We thought politicians were bad before. Buckle up. It's truly amazing how many people have their heads up Don the Con's keister. It truly is. Amazing stuff, Jimmy. Your humor is needed more than you can imagine. Republicans do not have the right to be upset by anything. It does. They knew what they were doing. Most Trump supporters don't watch real news or believe in real life anyway. How would they be mad? They have no idea this madness is going on. For someone who didn't want people from jails and asylums coming into the country, Trump sure is filling the U.S. government with people who belong in those places. Those aren't protesters, Jimmy. Those are elected members of parliament telling the New Zealand government that their ideas suck. Proper opposition. Toitu te tiriti. The most beautiful people I've ever come across. Their passion is unmatched. If they're performing a haka, you better just hush and listen. My mama comes from the Sami people of Finland, and as a firstborn American, just the thought of living in Lapland, where my aunt still lives, terrifies my delicate American bones lol. My aunt is a master fisherman and the toughest person I've ever met in my life, besides my own mama. Indigenous people are the real backbone of this world, and I wholeheartedly support them. It's because of my mama that I know anything about the native people of America, because she fought for their rights as a child cancer nurse when she became an American citizen along with the rights of other immigrants to get medical care here on the border where we live. Under Project 2025, children will never even learn about Native Americans. We cannot let them rewrite history. Sigh. I really hope New Zealand's parliament listened to their people. No one is listening here in America. The laughter that Jimmy and his writers give me helps tremendously, and knowing 100% that Trump is watching this at Mar-a-Lago makes me laugh even more. Thank you for my nightly therapy, Jimmy. Please, never stop.